guys subscribers and viewers welcome back to this wonderful channel in this video i want us to discuss particular service being provided by microtech and these are actually about the ports okay ports and their numbers and their services associated with these port numbers and these are the various means by which one can get into the microtech router but it looks like um, certain folks overlook this um, particular feature in Microtech called the IP service list. So kindly relax it back and let's delve deeper into this IP service list. Thank you. So without wasting time, um, let's quickly talk about this particular feature. It is found under IP you will see the services under IP you see services so kindly open services and then we have our IP service list here now this port has got to do with the API okay API has got to do with embedding of Putix API into various softwares and it is accompanied with this port number under it you would see available from meaning if you specify networks here or ips here these these are from the various ips from which they can be able to get access into this router without the listed ips here it means anybody at all can have access to the router provided the person have the authentication okay but if the IPs or networks are listed down here, I mean various of them are listed down here, it means only these listed IPs will be able to gain access into this router. So take note of this. So this is the API and the port number that is associated with it. If it is disabled, it is not going to work. You are not going to be able to associate with this router any um, software through the API okay the next thing is the API SSL so it's basically extra security okay or advanced security of the first API and so this is the port that is also associated with it and then from here you can assign IPs or networks just like we did with the first one and then down here we have the certificate if you have it you can associate the certificate with it and then you enable it but currently I don't have use for it so it is disabled the next one is the FTP so this is the name of this service and the port associated with it under it you have this available from just like the previous ones okay it goes on and on the same thing with this the same thing with the telnet the winbox so if all these are disabled it means you are not going to be able to access the microtech router at all and so if you notice these are the various services which are needed currently and so they have been enabled like the api the ssh winbox and then the web and so currently these are the needed services i need so they are enabled in case you don't need any other services you can disable it for safety okay this is how you can do it you can handle it and actually these are the only IP service list Microtech has provided for with engineers okay you cannot add and you cannot delete you can only enable and disable okay so this is all with IP service list under IP in the Microtech router board
thanks for watching this video kindly remember to click on the notification button after subscribing comment and share my videos as well thank you Thank you.